What's up you guys, Cece back with another pregnancy update. So what's up everybody, we are officially on Baby Watch. I am 35 weeks, five days. You guys will be getting an update every single Saturday until this baby arrives. So you could have two updates, you could have three, you could have four, hell, if he likes to really be stubborn, you could have five. Every single Saturday, you guys will be getting an update. Saturday is like my week change date. So the day you're watching this, I'll be 36 weeks. And so that'll put me four weeks from my due date. Obviously next Saturday, 37 weeks, 38 and so on and so forth. So I hope you guys enjoy these videos so far and let's jump in. So this is my 35 week pregnancy update. If you guys haven't been following along or any of that, make sure you go back and check out the playlist that will have all the pregnancy updates in there and you guys can see how my journey has been so far. Before, before we start this video, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. And if you know anybody pregnant during this difficult time, share this video with a friend. Hopefully it provides a little light and love to their spaces. I know it's really hard being pregnant right now. Trust me, I, I'm feeling it just like you guys are. I got really emotional in the last update. That was like two and a half weeks ago when things were just starting and now we're kind of right in the thick of it and it just doesn't seem like it's getting any better. So um, yeah, just pray for a pregnant mama right now. So FYI, I do have my laptop here because I have my microphone attached to it. So I just wanted to let you guys know, I will show you a baby bump shot, but my microphone is attached to it and that's the best way I could do it in this space that I'm in. I'm actually sitting in our living room. So um, yes, I'm 35 weeks, five days pregnant right now. I am due May 2nd, as you guys know, and uh, that's coming up very, very shortly. I actually just had my appointment on Tuesday. So two days ago and the doctor um he did my group b strep test and then he did a cervical exam on me and um when he did the exam he said my cervix is still closed it's still long the baby's still high up and has not dropped yet so basically i'm gonna still be pregnant next week and probably the week after so <laughs> that is his prediction um so, I, I mean, that's a good thing. I'm only 35 weeks, five days. The baby still has time to cook, so we want him to cook for as long as he needs to. But I did take my group B stress group B strep test and I got the results back today and come to find out I failed that test somehow. So somehow I did fail that test. I'm like, am I, is it because I'm old now? Like, why am I failing all these tests? I don't know. But um, basically, I, I don't really know what exactly it means, but he says the only difference is that you'll have to take an antibiotic during labor. And I'm like, okay. So if that's all I have to do, I don't know. I, I don't know, but yeah, I did fail that. He likes swabs. They swab like your vagina and then part of your butthole. Yeah, it's really, really gross but and weird, but <laughs> I failed whatever that was. But besides me failing more tests, um, things are for the most part going well, going like it should at almost 36 weeks. I am just, I'm just trying to cope with everything, you guys. It is a lot to, it's just a lot, you know, to think about where we are in the world and everything that's going on. And I know that's all people are talking about, but that's what's going on in people's lives. Like events are being canceled. People are having to postpone and cancel their weddings. You know, I had to cancel my baby shower. Well, we're still having like a little small thing with a couple people, but no one's going to be here for real. And so that was really disappointing that I can't celebrate my last baby with my family and friends. <laughs> And so it's just, it's scary, you know? And then on top of that, the hospital, the hospitals don't make it any better. So Mark can't come to any more of my appointments at the doctor. So we went, they sent me an email basically saying that, but it was like in not so many words, like it wasn't super explicit. So I was like, well, just come to the appointment and see what they say. As soon as we get to the door, they have nurses and masks and gloves with hand sanitizer. And she's like, are you two together? I'm like, yeah. She's like, you're here for your prenatal appointment? I'm like, yeah. She's like, oh, he can't come in. So he literally can't enter the building. So last week he didn't even come with me. But as soon as you get there, they ask you all these questions. Do you have flu-like symptoms? Do you have a fever? Um, they take your temperature. Have 
have you been tested for COVID-19. They make you wash your hands and um, like you don't sign in on the little kiosks anymore. You just let them know at the desk what your name is. They're all, all walking around with masks and gloves and it's just unnerving. And then you have to have a little... Um, a little bracelet on to say that you belong in the building and you've been screened already so it's just really unnerving to see the change in three weeks to, to how everything is looking and it's it's scary when you walk in you know and so for delivery right now I'm still allowed to have a support person so of course Mark will be my support person but he is the only person allowed in the hospital there are no visitors whatsoever at any time he can't even leave the building if he leaves he is not able to come back into the building so that is how strict things have gotten at the hospitals which I'm sure you guys have heard um, and it's it's very sad for me that my my parents won't be able to meet my my son or any of that so that's just that is i think the worst part that and of course they'll meet him when we get home but it just it's not the same my girls you know they were looking forward to coming to the hospital i was looking forward to them coming to the hospital and none of that will be happening so that makes me sad but it is what it is i understand the protocols are to keep us all safe but it doesn't make it any more heart, you know, any less heartbreaking. I'm just happy I'm able to have a support person because I know some hospitals aren't allowing any support people at all, which I feel like I would spaz out if no one was allowed in the hospital with me while I was giving birth. But uh, I'm just happy I'm allowed to have that one, you know, that one support person. And it is what it is at this point. So it's just been hard dealing with all of that. And then on top of, I still have to work like I work from home but I still have to work and then on top of homeschooling a six-year-old with her kindergarten work on top of keeping a five-year-old entertained all day and it has just been hard you know and then they're like y'all know we go places on the weekends we go to restaurants we go all types of places like well can we go to a restaurant why can't we go here you know and you're trying to explain it to them and they don't really understand so that's kind of weighing on me and it has just been a lot like it has just been a lot these last few weeks to kind of digest and deal with and I just I don't know I thank God every day that that we're all still safe and healthy but that doesn't mean it's not a lot you know so it's just I don't know going through this is just it's crazy it's like the twilight zone here you know which for all of you too I'm sure but getting back into the pregnancy, as far as any symptoms go, um, it's just getting harder and harder to sleep. I'm peeing more and more. I pee like every freaking hour on the hour, like seriously, um, whether I drink something or not. It's again, it's getting harder to sleep. It's just hard for me to get comfortable. I don't know about hard to sleep, but more so just hard to get comfortable. I can't find any comfortable positions at this point. I'm just like... <sighs> this is this is the last home stretch I just need to suck it up for these last few weeks you know and we're just getting everything prepared I've gotten um, like our room pretty much prepared upstairs for when the baby comes home I've gotten the, my hospital bag pretty much prepared I've gotten areas down here pretty much prepared for the baby so that's really exciting to see everything come together and go oh my god like a baby's really gonna be here in a few weeks that's been really exciting and every time I look at those spaces I'm like I'm really gonna have a baby girl you really about to do this again what is wrong with you <laughs> but I'm so excited to meet our son and that's like what's been keeping me going these last few weeks as far as everything else I've just been getting more tired lately I've just had to take more breaks I've been trying to I'm really really in nesting mode so I've been trying to clean every square inch of this house and I just have to to take more breaks while I'm doing it which I'm not used to at all but it is what it is my body sits me down when I don't want to sit down and um, it's just like harder to do things long term so my limit is probably about 15 20 minutes and then I'm like okay I have to sit for just a couple of minutes and then I can get up and continue and that just keeps going I have been getting these cramps in my stomach and I don't quite know what it is but it's they're just like they feel like menstrual cramps almost they're not like hugely intense but they're there and sometimes I just gotta sit and like 
like just wait it out and just fight through it and I don't exactly know what it is it just started maybe a couple of days ago so I mean like I said the doctor said this baby isn't coming anytime soon so I don't think I'm going into labor or anything but it just I don't know they're, they're like menstrual cramps almost and I don't know if they're Braxton Hicks or what they are but they are just so uncomfortable and a little painful and so that has been really irritating really really irritating lately um I still have my left leg cramp I don't think that's going away so I definitely still have my left leg cramp and those are really all of my I guess bad symptoms I haven't had any swelling or anything like that um so that's good yeah my feet are have not started to swell yet usually they start to swell at like the 38 39 week mark so we'll see if that happens in a few weeks so at 35 weeks your baby is about the size of a honeydew and it says by this time the baby is floating in about a quart of amniotic fluid and that'll start to decrease um, as you get closer to giving birth the physical development is pretty much done kidneys are fully developed liver can process waste um, and the next few weeks the baby just spends putting on weight it says you will have heartburn and bloating probably I I mean I've been feeling bloated since I didn't got pregnant so uh, <laughs> but it does say you'll probably have to pee more often and but you probably will have to deal with heartburn and other gastrointestinal issues I haven't had any heartburn I really don't get heartburn ever so that's really good uh, it says you might feel clumsier than normal which is understandable because your you know your gravity shift is off I remember when I was doing my pregnancy uh, photo shoot and I was supposed to like cross one leg over the other while standing up that was like so hard to do and that was weeks ago like seriously it was crazy so now I'm going to show you guys what my belly looks like So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's the first video of our baby watch, which I'm really, really excited about. So just make sure you stay tuned. I love you guys. Thank you so much for your continued prayers and your continued asking questions. You guys are so invested in this channel and this pregnancy and it totally shows. And I'm just so grateful to have you guys in our lives. I love you so, so much. Pray for a pregnant mama today and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.